Like to see so many folks come out on a rainy night where we're threatening to get uh, a little wet. My name is Andy Major and I work with Neighbors of the Onondaga Nation. We've gathered here tonight because tomorrow is a historic occasion. Uh, folks from the Onondaga Nation will travel to Albany to go to federal court for the first hearing in their land rights action. This is a part of a, a centuries-long effort to, uh, to seek justice for the fact that their lands were taken from them illegally in a series of so-called treaties by New York State. So tonight we gather here uh, with candles to represent hope, our hope that justice can prevail, that our nation can stand up for the values that we claim to, to adhere to, values of justice, of equality, of freedom, that those ideals can be applied to all people, including the Onondagas and other native people who have long suffered uh, under those uh, so-called ideals. We gather here in Clinton Square because the Haudenosaunee flag flies here alongside the United States flag and the flag of New York State. And part of our hope is that there can be equality among these governments and recognition that they need to, to work together rather than seeking power over the way is traditional in our system. Robin is a professor at the SUNY College of Environmental Science and Forestry. Uh, she's a member of the Potawatomi Nation and she's a poet, a writer, and she heads a new center on native people in the environment at SUNY ESF and we really uh, appreciate the opportunity to hear her words tonight. Our neighbors are still here. Still here and overflowing with spirit. Even after everything, the many gifts of Mother Earth still bless us. The sun, the moon, the stars, the water, the trees, the birds, the fish, the deer. Even after everything, our neighbors are still here. Still here and living in gratitude. Even after everything, the waste beds, the mercury, the DDT, the PCBs, the salmon gone, the chestnut gone, the passenger pigeon all gone, the lake, the creek, witness to the wounds, their hands tied by someone else's law, our neighbors are still here, still here and healing the land. Wendy is a faith keeper of the Onondaga Nation. Uh, she's a writer, a community activist. She works at the communications office. I spotted one today, deep in the woods where Grandpa goes to get firewood. The tall trees, oh, 